Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create custom filters in AppSmith and I'll be showing you this by creating a custom filter for a list widget. As a bonus, I'll also show you how to create custom filters using a chat widget so make sure you stick till the end. My name is Confidence and I'm a developer advocate at AppSmith. Without further delay, let's get started. Alright, so taking a look at the application we have here on the screen, we have a simple list of users being displayed right here and the data being displayed on this list is coming from the get user query that returns a list of 50 users as you can see that is displayed on the list so we have a couple of users here and we have some information such as the date of birth the name email and all of that information coming right here but on the list we are interested in displaying the users image name gender and also country but what we want to do right now is that we need to create a filter for the user's gender and also country because it's going to be very difficult to scroll through 50 records in order to find a particular user so let's create a filter that's going to make this really easy the first filter we'll be making is a filter to filter users based on gender and in order to do this i'm just going to bring in a select widget right here so this is right here and I'm just going to reduce this a bit and for this widget I'm going to call it gender select for the genders we have from the data coming back from the database we have male we also have female and this is going to have a value of female and we also want um, a case for all genders both male and female so this is going to be all and this is going to have a value of all. All right, this looks good. Uh, for the default option, I'm just going to set this to all. And for the label, I'm just going to say gender. All right, and here we have the gender select um, built. But what we want is that we want to configure some logic so that when the gender is changed from this drop down, it is actually applied as a filter on the list because right now nothing happens uh, if I change the gender. So in order to do this, I need to write some JavaScript to implement the filter logic. And I can do this using the items um, text box we have right here. But pro tip, you can also use the JS editor for this. So let's actually use the JS editor. So let's go to create a new JavaScript file. I'm just going to create a new JavaScript file and call this utils. All right. And inside of this file, we need a function to perform the filter for users. So let's call this um, filter users. All right. And this is going to take in some data as the parameter to the function. Because we are building this, let's pass some default data using the data from get users dot data. All right. And we have that set up. First thing I need mean to do here is create a variable to store all the users that will be filtered so let's say let users and the first step is that this is going to have all users um, being passed or stored inside of it so this is data and we can go into return this all right so we can test this function out by clicking on the play button here and we see that we have all user data coming back but we actually need to implement the logic for the filter and in order to do this we can write some if statement and do a check to see if the gender selected from the um, drop down is not equals to all so this is not equals to all if it's not all then we can actually go in to apply the logic for the filter so this is going to be users equals to users dot filter and for the filter condition, we want to make sure that the user's gender is the same as the gender selected from the gender dropdown. So this is going to be gender select dot selected option value. Yeah, this looks good. So we can go back to make use of that function in the list. So for this list widget, what I can do here is to pass the data coming from the get user dot data as a parameter and then make a call to the filter user function. So this is going to be utils dot filter users. And then we are passing the data coming from get users the data as a parameter to the call and we have the users coming back. So we can go into test this filter 
by changing the gender to female for example and you can see that we have uh, the female gender showing up or we can go back to changes to all and we have both male and female showing up on the list so this filter actually works i'm going to show you how to also implement a filter for the countries so we have different countries right here let's go create a filter for this as well so in order to do this we need to bring in a select widget and this is going to be for the country as you already guessed um select so this is going to be country select for the options we do not want to hard code the options like we did for the gender because uh the options should be based on the data returned from the database so we need the options to be dynamically built based on the data returned from the get users the data query so let's quickly do that by writing some javascript here so this is going to be get users dot data and we can map over this to return some uh options an array of options that would have some label and value so this is going to have label which is going to be users the user's country and also have some value which would be the user's country u.country all right and taking a look at this we have an array of objects that have some label and value based on the user's country but we have an error here and you can see that we have a debugger error and the same also shows right here at the bottom corner we have an error telling us that the values must be unique and that's because we have duplicate countries being added in the array so to fix this error we can use the uh, low dash library so this is going to be underscore dot unique by all right and we want this to be unique by value so passing value as the second parameter to the unique by function all right and you can see that we have unique countries showing up the last thing we need to do here is to add a fallback for all countries so we need to do a dot concat and adding just one more object that have a label of all and a value of all all right and now let's go in to set the default option so this is going to be all and same also goes for the label text this will be country all right and this looks good we've been able to build out the country select so similarly we need to implement the logic for this select widget such that whenever it changes we actually go to apply the country that was selected here as a filter for this list so let's set this back to all and i'm going to head back to the filter users function and what i'm going to do will be so similar to what we did for the gender select that i'm just going to copy this over paste it here and edit this a bit so this is going to be country select dot selected option value not equal to all if it is not all we want to go on to apply the filter here we need to make sure that the country is the same as the country selected from the country select dot selected option value and that's all we need to do so heading back you can actually go to try this out so i'm just going to say canada for example and you can see that we have canada and we have a gender of female for for instance oh we don't have any female from canada so let's say uh, gender female country us and you can see that we have some data coming back based on the filter parameters selected on the drop downs as a bonus i'm going to show you how to create filters for the chat widget so in order to show you how to do this i'm just going to quickly build the chat widget so let's bring in a chat widget right here so this is a chat widget i'm going to expand this and we need the chat data shown on this chat to be the number of users born at this particular month so in order to build that data out because going back to the data coming from get users query we actually have the users date of birth coming back so we can actually write some logic to generate chat data based on the users date of birth and have that displayed on the chat i already have this written out i'm just going to paste the code right here all right this is the get month function and all it does is that it returns um some chat data containing the number of users born at a particular month and you can see the entire logic here you can go through it 
if you want to know how this works so let's call the get months function and you can see that in the month of april we have two users being born in the month of april and same also goes for the other month so we can head back to the chat widget and actually display that data here so so this is going to be utils dot get months and you can see that we have that data displayed here for example in the month of september we have 80 users being born in the month of september but what we want to do at this point is that we want to go ahead to make use of the filter we have built right here to also filter the data shown in the chat as well as in the list widget and to do this is really easy so let's head back to the function generating the list of data shown in the chat we can actually go in to make use of the user filter here or the filter users function here right within the get months function to do this we can pass the data that is being filtered in the get month function as a parameter to the filter user function so this is going to be this dot filter users and that's all we need to do we're passing the data as a parameter to that function and that function returns an array of filtered users and then we actually use that data return back to build a list of data points for the chat widget so let's go to check this out all right so we have all for example we have all months with uh, female beds showing up on the chat we can go to select a specific country or we don't have for canada so let's say male for example and you can see that in the month of march we have one person born in the month of march who has a gender of male and a country from Canada. So this is how easy it is to build custom filters for your widget on AppSync. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section. And till I see you next time, take care. Bye-bye.